Hey there, today I want to make some gemstones, um, just because it's fun and there's stuff you can learn from something like that. So let's go back to the home grid here and let's go ahead and for a gemstone like this, I'll go ahead and make a sphere. <coughs> so sphere, let's turn on the thing there. If we have eight segments. That's a that's what I used for this one over here, so we'll go ahead and use that. So let's go ahead and change that to a polygon or an edible polygon. <coughs> and so what I want to do is go to edge here, and we'll select these two and loop around to select them all the way around. Now, if you press delete, that happens, but if you go up here and you click remove, you can just remove those edges there and that works out pretty well. Here I'm going to grab the Z value from this one and I'll add it to here. Oh, pardon. There we go. Still it's a bit awkward in height, so I'll move that down to about there. Now, st it's still not... Uh, perfect yet. So let's go ahead and select this top layer again. And this time we're going to have to rotate it. Um, I usually have snap rotate on, but we're going to need a little bit more precise of a turn for this. A good way to do this is if you press T and you go into top view, you can see how these vertexes are aligned like this. You'll want it to be like right in the middle there. So that's going to be a 22.5. Let's do 22.5. Now we're right. A perfect angle, but something looks weird, you know, it's still twisted. So if we go to polygons and we go to our tries and we press turn, you'll see it'll show these tries going around. Click on, oh, actually that's correct. Um. Oh, you know what? I think it automatically done it because maybe I did the same thing with the one over here. I'm not sure. But usually these are <coughs> like this. And that causes an issue because that's not what you want your diamond to look like. Your gemstone. You want it to look like that. But looking at these tries, they look all good. So I'm going to go into <coughs> this and select all. And just connect and finish off all the tries. There we have that. But... If we look at it, it's certainly different from that. Uh, you'll see we have smoothing on still. And this is one of those cases where you actually don't want smoothing. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the polygons here. And up here in the corner, or actually go to edges. So I'm going to click display hard edges. And you'll see we have no hard edges in this. But this is all hard edges. So what you can do is you can select all the edges and click hard up here in the set, in the on your tool on your modeling toolbar and now you'll see all the edges are green if we turn that off you can see we have that crystalline look to it now um now i don't know how to make it in pikmin 2 so that looks good but if we go here we can say all right we want it to be a, a blue crystal why not we'll add that there <coughs> maybe more blue and then how about we turn up the specular level oh no not that high now we have that shine that chic to it and then you can kind of give it if you want like a purple no nope. uh, let's see here oh darker that's what we need it's still blue but it's got like the these purple tones in it. You can do that with this illumination now. <coughs> I think we don't need that though. If we turn down the opacity and then now you can see through it like a proper gemstone. And <coughs> that's why I got there and you can tweak the glossiness of it whether you want more or less of that shine. But that makes a pretty nice looking gemstone there, and 
gemstones in general are just kind of a fun thing to make because you can make them from scratch pretty easily. You could just do it about with almost anything as long as you make them look very geometric, you know? So how about we do something with a cylinder here? I'm thinking... Um, like the, the, the gemstone king and Pikmin 2, that treasure, just kind of like a <coughs> column of gem that's coming out of the ground or whatever. Something similar to that maybe. So we can go and why don't we also add a cap segment? Uh, sure, if that's the best we can get. So I will convert this to a polygon and we can work on this. Um, if we go ahead and do that, loop around, remove, and we can bring that up. Comes to a nice point. Um, what we can do is we can do a swift loop right here. How about that? And yeah, I'm just mad libbing this. We'll shrink this down a bit. Um, bring this down. And I mean, right now it looks like that, but if we go ahead and harden all the edges, we've got. Yeah, that looks pr pretty crystalline. Maybe if we. Take these here and shrink those down a bit. Move it up a bit. You know, you can get creative with it. You can almost always make it look pretty crystalline by doing whatnot with this. Uh, maybe we want to do some target welding. We can. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, no, well, equal symmetrical geometric shapes do pretty well for crystals. Why don't we throw one of these materials on here? Let's try the blue one. It's a little more transparent. Uh, maybe we can try and make something like a rupee. I'm thinking an atmosphere. Uh, box. Let's do that. It's like a rectangle. We'll use the snap to grid here. And let's see. Alright. And we'll convert that to a polygon again. I'm trying to remember exactly what a rupee looks like. But, um,. Huh. Oh, you know what we can do? We go ahead and select all the edges, and we can just chamfer them a bit, and that would give us a decent. Yeah. <coughs> we can. Oh, by the way, to do where I bring up this little menu, if I if I just clicked chamfer, it would just, you know, I would have a tool and I could do it like this. But if I press shift and click, it brings up a menu here. You can change some details here. But so I'm thinking, let's go ahead and make the corners here meet in our, oh, yeah, and then press OK. And let's do this. I'll select these edges and these edges, because there are two there now, and we'll loop them and, uh, let's see, is there a, Ooh. yeah, I don't want to collapse, well, you can select <coughs> two at a, no, no, actually, well, here, go to vertices and weld, but, again, you can shift click and this can, help you increase your weld threshold, but uh, you just want to do it enough so that you see 
the change you're looking for, so 24 to 15. That's good. And we'll select all our edges, make them hard. And let's see how that looks. Uh, looks like a little crystal to me, I don't know. Gemstone, whatever you're looking for. And I think, you know, just playing with the chamfer stuff, you can really make your crystals pretty intricate. <laughs> uh, maybe this is a bit too intricate, whatever this is supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, once you do it enough, you're ending up pretty much just smoothing down the object. But, uh, you know, play with shapes and stuff, and you can make cool little gemstones. Let's throw pink on there. Uh, but that's about it, you know. Just kind of have fun, mess around with the tools and stuff. You can make gemstones. Uh, that's all I wanted to share. Thanks for watching.